ang nakaraan sa kalokohan ni Ara. Alam mo, may mga ibang nagsasabi sa akin na gusto nalang makita yung study routine ko. I'm like... Sleeping every five minutes! <laughs> Girl, I'm so tired of life! Meanwhile... So ready? Let's get down to business. Sabi nga ni Mulan, just wait, there's more. I think I need coffee. Kailangan ko yun. Let's go. Punta tayo makto. Two hours later. But the goods. Let's go. Ngayon naman, let's get ready for battle. Let's put my headband on. Tapos maglagay rin tayo ng ipet para walang asungot na buhok sa mukha natin. Ngayon, let's prepare our materials. Okay? Lalabas ko na yung handout ko. Yung mga pinag-type ko sa klase. Okay, magsistretching muna ako to pump the blood and everything to make the blood going. Pumunta sa utak ko. Ngayon, okay. Bubuksan natin yung laptop ko. Tayo ay magbubukasan ng handouts. Babasayan na natin ang bongga. I-absorb natin ang bongga. Bongga, focus lang tayo. Let's go. Titeg, basa, scroll. Titeg, basa, scroll. Intindi. 12 seconds later. What up, Betches? It's your girl again, Ara, with another video. Yes? Uh-huh. So ngayon guys, I am going to give you tips. In my years of studying, meron ako mga ways on how to study, I guess, efficiently, effectively. First tip ko sa inyo, what type of learner are you? Meron tayo iba't ibang ways how to learn. We have the visual learners, and these people really love graphics, charts, tables, Tapos yung mga pictures, that's me. Ako, kasama ko sa mga visual learners. Meron rin tayong auditory learners wherein they learn more while listening. So, meron iba sa amin na nagre-record ng lecture, pinapakinggan nila yung sabi ng prof, and then sa kanila, inaaral. Meron tayong reading and writing. Then, you, you read the mismong article or yung mismong book, and then you write it. Sino-shortcut mo siguro, or kaya pwedeng tinitake down notes mo yung mga important stuff. Kinesthetic learners. These learners, they actually sprinkle a few exercises. They move. They need to move to learn. They need to be hands-on experimental learners. And they learn best by doing it. Second tip, pero as a med student, as a veterinary med student, I really encourage you to type. Lalo na pag sobrang info overload, nagbibigay naman ng handouts yung prof nyo, walang problema bes. Mas maganda yon pero mag-type ka pa rin para meron kang memory retention do sa mga inaaral nyo or sa mga pag-isasabi ng prof mo. Pero kung gusto mo talaga nagsusulat, pen and paper is not bad rin. Ako personally kasi, pangit ang sulat ko. Para mas mabilis, para rin mas maayos yung sulat at mas organized, I do type. After class, I really encourage you to rearrange your notes, customize your notes to your liking. Ako, minsan nagre-record ako, lalo na pag sobrang bilis, hindi ko na kaya ihabol through typing. I do record. Bibigyan mo ulit na another oras para i-type yun everything. Ulit-ulit, papakinggan mo para mas magets mo. Lalo na, ginawa ko to nung immunology, like legit, naging soundtrack ko ang boses ng prof ko. Pero sana hindi to pinapalood ng prof ko kasi ayaw niya ata na nire-record yung boses niya. Pero ayun, it worked kahit pa paano. So... Number four, another thing that I learned, group work. Kung meron kayong close friends, mag-team up na kayo to do or take notes as a group. Kuwari, meron isang taga-take ng pictures, meron isang taga-record, meron isang taga-type, or kaya meron dalawang taga-type, or kaya may part na parang dito ikaw gagawa ng reviewer sa gantong part, or kung may organization ka, pwede ka siguro tumingin or umano sa upper class may mga academic materials, pwede ka humingi para may guide ka kung ano yung flow ng lesson. I mean, these kinds of things, you need to reach out to other people talaga. You need to be resourceful full of what you have and I do recommend yung group work lalo na pare-pareho lang lang naman kayong gagraduate lahat as a veterinarian why not work together to complete yung notes para mas maganda and lahat kayo matututo pa diba teamwork guys teamwork Okay? Make a Google Drive. Lalo na ang Google Drive, pwede ka mag-input kahit saan man dyan. And kung may internet available sa classroom mo, maganda yun. Mag-type-type lang kayo. Sa kanya lang ayusin. Number five, okay. Kung may ginagawa kami technique, lalo na kapag mahirap ang exam, we do recall the questions right after the exam para para maalala mo rin kung sa kanang kamali, pwede mo ma-review agad. And also, it will be in good use lalo na pagdating ng finals. 
mati-take note mo na kasi kung paano magpa-exam yung prof. So, technically, may idea ka na. So, makakuha mo na yung flow niya kasi sa vetment. So, kung hindi ka na-exempt, magpa-finals ka, at least may idea ka na kung paano siya magtatanong, paano mo siya aaralin. Think one step ahead in med school or in vet med school. When you have difficult topics, don't be scared to ask for help. As in, as in ask for help. If kailangan nyo mag-group study, please do so. Immunology. Pes, may pa-essay kasi yung prof namin doon. Girl, it is not easy. Meron kayong classmate na talagang magaling, naiintindihan niya. Mag-group study kayo with that person and let him parang turuan kayo, magturuan kayo, magtanungan kayo. Mas maintindihan niyo yun. Take note, pag sa group study, mas maganda na kahit pa paano, aral ka na. Kasi ang hirap na yun, parang hindi ka pa-aral, tapos sila, ang dami ng questions and everything, tapos ikaw hindi ka makaka-catch up. Mahirapan ka rin lalo. Mas preferred na aral ka na, pumunta sa isang group study. Sa kanyo lang i-discuss yung mga questions nyo. Know your prof. Let me give you a backstory. Story time with Anna! Meron isang subject na apat ang prof namin for one whole semester. Nagpapalit-palit sila. Parang kuwari, itong med 3. Apat prof namin. Parang hati-hati sila sa mga topics. Minsan, it's really good to know kung paano yung style ng prof magpa-exam. Pwede ka magtanong sa upperclassmen. Para may konting tips ka lang. Pero huwag kang umasa lang doon, okay? Para you need to study, of course. Effort rin. Pero it's good to know kung paano siya magpa-exam para alam mo na kung paano yung technique na aralin yung part niya. Kasi iba-iba sila. Meron ibang prof na talagang mahirap magbigay. Meron mga ibang prof na carry lang naman. As in, carry. Hindi ko sinasabi mo dali. Carry. Hindi ko na sinasabing mahirap. No harm in asking kung paano magpa-exam sa ganito sa ganyan. Basta may idea ka lang. Pero huwag kayong aaksa lang doon ha. Mag-aral rin kayo. And next, number 7 guys. Ito. Aralin mo yung subject or yung lessons na tinake nyo right after. Parang i-recall nyo lang. Recap. Para magkaroon ng memory retention nung mismong topics. Ako, honestly, I'm guilty na hindi ko masyado ginagawa. Maganda tong gawin nyo para maalala nyo na para hindi kayo mahirapan. Parang form of review na rin. Unti-unting form of review. So, yun lang. Honestly guys, this these are just tips. Hindi siya yung as in specific study routine ko. Pero ito yung mga natutunan ko in vet school na pwede or pwede nyo masubukan para, para mapadali, mapadali ang buhay nyo. Okay? Isang key lang rin talaga sa college is you need to learn a lot about yourself. Kung paano ka nag intake ng information, kung paano mo gagawing mas productive sarili mo, how are you gonna push yourself. Ang daming parts sa college na talagang gagawin mo yun, ipupush mo yung sarili mo on a super different level. Sana nakatulong tong tips sa to. Comment down below any other tips na baka alam nyo pa. May pwede kayong madagdag. So, I hope you like this video. Do give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget rin guys, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Follow me on my social media accounts at shopo02 for more vet shenanigans. Alakuan ko or kagagahan ko in the internet. Yun lang. Uh, and Ara, sign you off. Oh, na, tama na. Sige na. Comment down below kung ano pang gusto niyo makita, okay? Sana may natutunan. Alam nyo, guys. Gusto ko lang talaga is may matutunan kayo dito sa video nito. Sana nakatuloy yung tips ko. I personally am sabog. As a person who studies, sabog pa rin ako. Para ayun. Okay, bye. Kala ko matutulog ka ng last bit na yun. Teka lang, hindi pa. <laughs> Kaya hindi, may noob ko yung camera. Hindi ko mo nandog pa eh. Hindi pa na What the hell? Ano may tura po? Hindi ka ganyan. Maganda.